So I received two packages from subscribers and one package I ordered off eBay. Let's do an inbox video. This first package is a Bolex H16 and I'm pretty happy with this. Got this for about $120. It's not guaranteed or refurbished or anything, but it, it's kind of one of those things where someone found it in an attic and they just wanted to get rid of it, so I got it and it's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it has Kodak lenses and these Kodak lenses feel kind of shitty, but oh well. It does have a well, lens, lens though, and that one's pretty nice. I might move that one to my better Bolex. This one has the frame counter on it, so that's pretty cool. And it also came with a little hand crank. Ah. So you can actually go, go backwards if you need. So my grandfather used to, back in the 70s and 80s, he would take his small 8mm camera and... He would run it forward while recording fireworks going off. Oh, whoops. So then he'd have a footage of the fireworks going off, but then he would rewind it and then he would record twice. He would go back and then he would he would record another firework going off. And so in the home movies that he made, there was a nice montage of a bunch of fireworks going off because he was recording over the same film. That was kind of neat. Most likely I'm going to use this one for experimentation with modifying it to record wide, like widescreen footage and also modify this to be an extremely long exposure camera. So hopefully I can get it to where I can have this record like night sky in a time lapse like that have some mechanism on here to pull this out hold it open for like five minutes to capture light and whatnot I think that'd be kind of cool oh, I also like how this sounds it's kind of neat this actually came with a real film Ansco chrome I've never heard of Ansco Chrome. It's so such a stupid name, in my opinion. But this one has not been developed yet, and it was actually only half used. So I used the rest of it. This exposes and or it expires in 1960. So I'm thinking I might see about trying to develop that. It might be pretty hard to do that, but I might get something out of it. But yeah, it's kind of cool. I'll probably do a video just about that, though. I felt like getting this one instead of another one just because it had a case. And it's kind of a nice case. And now on to the first subscriber package. So this package actually came with a bag inside of it, an old military surplus bag. And it was kind of squished, so I just stuffed a bunch of clothes and towels and stuff in here. So that would help make it a little more, well, give it shape back, I guess. Yeah, it's a lot better. Before it was like really flat, but now it's a little bit better. That's pretty good. Ooh, a letter. Here's a sticky note to cover up your name and address. I don't think you'd want that to be public. Hey, Renella, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel, and I've learned a lot about batteries and some electronics from watching your videos. I'm currently working on my own 48-volt 13-series 4-parallel 18650 electric bike battery. I have a bang ping, bang, uh, bay fang? whatever that is, mid-drive motor. I am inspired by your gung-ho try-it and learn approach. Well, thank you. I have included a sample of battery blocks by Sean McCarty for 18650 cells. Check out his YouTube channel for assembly instructions. I do not work with him, but I thought it would be fun to cross-pollinate. I'm also going to send some to Jehu Garcia. Ugh. 
Me and him don't get, get along too well. I work for Stanley Brand as a packaging engineer. Here is some product for my company. Let me know if you ever need packaging design advice. Also included is some junk drawer stuff and a bag that a friend gave me. Good luck with your steampunk bike. Keep up the fun projects. Thanks so much for explaining how to build your own 18650 pack. Tomcat. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you very much. I, I'm, I'm always a fan of junk drawer stuff. Oh, a thermos. Nice. I wonder if this could hold liquid nitrogen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the 18650 holders. That's interesting. Weird. So that's just meant to hold 18650 cells. It's kind of neat. Although I'm not a huge fan of this design because they're all ordered like that. I like them being pushed over a little bit because they fit better that way. Oh, neat. A little mess kit. I already happen to have a bunch of Swiss mess kits, but this is still pretty cool. I'll probably give this to my mother. She'll like that. We're probably wanting to get into camping again, so that'll be pretty cool. Here's the receipt for the battery blocks. That's interesting. So yeah, definitely go check out... Sean McCarty's channel. Never even heard of him before. That's kind of cool. How oh, interesting. What? Well, that's an odd design. That's for sure. That's some pretty crappy 3D printing, though. Ugh, look at that. So, like, yeah, it's... I was thinking these were going to be the, the things, not... What? I don't get it. I, I really don't, I don't get it. What this is. No. They're seriously not using magnets for power trans transfer, are they? That's horrible. This is the worst idea ever if this is true. Damn. So it's just this just meant to be giving power like we don't want to do that. Wow, well, I would not trust that at all. I guess for maybe oh fuck. Maybe for testing them. Wow, that is a bad design, if that really is. I'm, I'm going to look this up, because surely this isn't the design. Well, it looks like I almost had it, so... Basically, you have... These that go through. I, I can't believe they're actually using uh, magnets for power transfer. That's horrible. Like, sure, I use magnets for testing, but I, d I wouldn't use them for power transfer. They heat up too much. They're too resistive. You're going to waste all your power. Damn. And then these are still loose. Like... Let's see what's actually going on here. Okay, so... There's no real support in the middle. There's nothing really holding these on. I'm not sold, that's for sure. I don't like putting pressure that way on the cells. It just That does not strike me as a good idea. Because that's what you're doing. You're clamping, clamping down around it. So if, if, you want, if you need to clamp down enough to stop it being able to twist, then that's probably dangerous, I think. I recommend that he should get a better 3D printer 
something such as Flash Forge Creator Pro that would do better 3D prints. This is a pretty low quality 3D print. Looks like you just made it in like 10 minutes. I don't know, it just doesn't look that nice. I might do a video review of this and, and go more into detail of all the issues I have with it. And I'll be sure to check out this channel more to make sure that I'm not misusing them. But there's like, there's a lot of issues with this that I see. But thank you very much for getting this to me. This is really neat. I'll definitely look into this. And I'm pretty sure sending it to Jehu Garcia is a good idea because he's kind of an idiot. He'll probably like it. Then, a little AA battery holders, some tubes. Oh. Tarp. Oh, nice. I can actually use that. Oh yeah, and onto this bag. I believe this is a Swedish gas mask bag. There's actually a date on it. November 22nd, 1940. Now that is actually pretty sweet. I like it a lot. It's really cool that it actually... It has a shoulder strap and like a, a waist strap. It's really cool. I might start using this for a tool bag, but I don't know. I might, might find some other uses for it. I definitely want to use it. It reminds me of my Swiss bread bag. Kind of the same style with the same latches and whatnot. That's really cool. Thank you very much for this package. On to the third package and last package. Reno, I'm glad you have uses for the supercapacitors and lithium cell I sent a while back. In this package, you will find two 6 series 16 parallel 22.2 volt 35 amp hour batteries I've built for your new steampunk bike. You built batteries for me? Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that. I have included some connectors, chargers, charging adapters, and so on as well. I modified a server power supply for use with these chargers or for use as a workbench power supply. Also in the box are various lithium cell sizes, which I had no use for. The 18650 cells are like the ones I sent you last time. Subpar cells that are untested. Once I am done with one last battery project, I will send you my remaining already tested cells. I should have approximately 100 left over. I don't know how that will be, though. Sincerely, Dylan. Wow, oh my god, thank you very much. That makes me pretty excited. So here's the cells that are low, low quality. I'll definitely, uh, I might say about using them in something. Ooh. Ooh. I max V6s. That is always welcome. Damn, that's a lot of IMAX V6s. Oh. Those are pretty interesting looking capacitors. So this must be the, the charger. Now that's pretty cool. It outputs 62 amps of power. Oh my god, that's a lot. I might definitely have to use that. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I, now, I, 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 part of me feels kind of bad, but... Damn, that's so good. Oh, I love this. This is awesome. I was not expecting that, that's for sure. Two of them? Oh my god. Ooh, so we got some capacitors. Those are always handy. HVAC capacitors. And probably some more lithium stuff. Oh, what the fuck? They're like shrunken 18650 cells. I've never seen these before. Little doohickeys for all the IMAX V6s, I guess. Damn. That is awesome. These smell like they're venting, but... IMR 2670. Oh, this is 2670. Oh, my God. These are awesome. I'll grab the AA battery holders from the, the previous package, and you can see. Oh, these are AA battery sizes. Oh my god. That's so awesome. 
I can't get over this. Like, did you seriously build this just for me? That, I mean... I can build my own batteries. You don't have to do that, but... That is greatly, greatly appreciated. This is awfully heavy for my steampunk e-bike. So, what I'm thinking I might do is... I'll probably not use these in my e-bike just yet. Because I'm wanting to see about making a sidecar. Whenever I have a sidecar, I'll put these into the sidecar. But the box that I'm actually mounting on my electric bicycle, it already seems like it's a little bit too small for this. But I don't know. It's really cool. Damn. That is really awesome. So guys, thank you very much for all this. This is really amazing. This, I mean, really, this is really amazing. I'll probably start using this if I ever do, like, if I ever go out in the woods for a long time. I'll probably keep this in my backpack or something like that. And I can use that. And, you know, I might put this on my bike, this bag. I might put that, yeah, I might put that bag on my bike. I'm not sure, though. Or I might wear it whenever I ride my bike. I mean, I, I kind of have a hard time taking it all in because it's like this is a lot of really helpful and valuable stuff to me at least. So it means a lot. Thank you very much. This is really awesome. Can't wait to start doing stuff with these. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya!